Hi everyone. I am here to discuss on evaluation of a polynomial. Uh, let us consider one polynomial here. 6x cube minus 2x square plus 7x plus 5 for x equal to 4. This is the polynomial we have to evaluate. If I apply direct method or regular method, how many number of multiplications uh, we need to apply? For example, here we need to apply 3 multiplications. Why? Because it is a cube. Here we have to apply 2 multiplications. Why? Because it is a square. Here we have to apply 1 multiplication and this is a constant term. So totally, how many number of multiplications are needed here? 6 multiplications. Suppose if I consider a polynomial of degree n and the number of multiplications will be like n plus n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus and so on up to 1. What does this mean? This is nothing but sum of first n natural numbers and the formula for this is n into n plus 1 by 2. That means this many number of multiplications are required to evaluate a polynomial of degree n. So uh, when it comes to computation, its time complexity will be big O of n square. Why? Because uh, this is like n square plus n by 2 it is, which is of order n square. This is quadratic time complexity. Then there is one method. Uh, by name Horner's rule using which the name of that method is Horner's rule using which we can reduce the time complexity from big O of n square to big O of n. According to Horner's method the polynomial will be evaluated in this fashion. Let me take the same polynomial as an example 6x cube minus 2x square plus 7x plus 5. Let me consider the same polynomial. According to Horner's rule, this will be restructured as I will be taking this x term out of the first three terms. So this becomes 6x square minus 2x plus 7 multiplied by x plus 5. In the next step, what I will do is, I will take x from x away from this first two terms. This will become 6x minus 2 multiplied by x plus 7 multiplied by x plus 5. Then, in the next attempt, what I will do is, I will take this x away from 6. Then, 6x minus 2 multiplied by x plus 7 plus x plus 5. So, <clears throat> this is the final stage. Now, if you observe how many number of multiplications we are performing here. One multiplication here, one multiplication here and another multiplication here. This is uh, multiplied by another multiplication here plus 1. So totally, how many number of multiplications are carried out here? 3. So for a polynomial of degree n, how many number of uh, multiplications are carried out using this uh, Horner's rule is n. Uh, for example, if n is the degree of the polynomial, then how many number of multiplications are to be done? n multiplications. The time complexity is obviously big O of n. So this is an efficient method to evaluate polynomials. Now if we try to write an algorithm for this one, we can start from here. You see what, uh, so first let me write the steps here, steps for this algorithm. First one, read input. What is this input? We have to read the coefficients and constants into some array A. Read A. Next, read X. Read X. Then, I will assume this as the initial term which is equal to 
sum equal to 6. I will assume this as the initial term to start with. In this case, sum equal to 6. Next, for i from, this is the first uh, term in the list in this uh, array A. So, excluding that, we have to proceed from uh, next term onwards. So, if we assume that as 0th term, the next term will be like 1 to n minus 1. Here we are assuming the array is 0 based indexed. Okay. Next one. For i from 1 to n minus 1, do. What we have to do is sum equal to sum Initially, what is there in sum 6? I am writing particularly for this uh, example. Later, we can generalize this one. Uh, this n minus 1, I am writing like this n minus 1 is nothing but uh, uh, 3 here. Okay, let it be. Sum equal to sum multiplied by x plus a of i. Then finally, print sum. This is the result of the polynomial that's all this is the algorithm if you want to make it uh, a generalized one then replace this 6 with a of 0 that's all remaining all can go as usual these are the steps required to perform this uh, evaluation of a polynomial using Horner's rule what is this a? a is nothing but the coefficients of the polynomial and the last uh, element of this a will be the constant. So it will be like a n, a n minus 1 and so on a naught. Okay. So in this case, this uh, a is like 6 minus 2, uh, 7, 5 x is 4 in this particular example okay so this is how we have to give input and this is the algorithm to perform evaluation of a polynomial using Horner's rule I have written a Python code for this one if we evaluate this polynomial the output of this polynomial will be either direct approach or Horner's rule the output will be 385 uh, I have written a Python code for this one Please have a closer look at this one. Uh, here I am assuming this program is especially working for this case. Uh, 6 minus 2, 7, 5. A is given like uh, 6 minus 2, 7, 5. This is a polynomial of degree 3. Polynomial of degree 3. X is 4 and sum as I told earlier, I am assuming that to the initial term. Normally, this is nothing but a of 0. You can write it directly as I am especially writing this code for evaluating this particular polynomial. I am writing sum equal to 6 or you can even write a of 0. Then for i in range 1 comma 4, we know that the python range function, if you give 4, it will stop by 3. So that's why we are giving 1 comma 4. Then sum equal to sum multiplied by x plus a of i print sum this is how we write code in python to perform evaluation using horner's rule now if you would like to see the generalized version so that it can work for any input is we can modify this code like this one yeah the first line enter coefficients and constant coefficients are like a n a n minus 1 a n minus 2 and so on constant is a naught these are to be entered in in using keyboard then as usual these are all given in the same line separated by space and by using split we will separate them they will be obviously in string form they are to be converted to integer by using map function we all know what this map does map will 
um, convert any data type into the destination data type in a bulk manner bulk manner here it is converting string to integer in a bulk manner that means uh, all these many values will be converted to integer at once then finally uh, that uh, the result will be map object that is getting converted to list so why because some functions cannot be applied on map object max min len this cannot be applied on map object that's why we are converting that to list explicitly then next step is once we read these coefficients and constants the next step is read x value in the in the earlier case we have considered x value as 4 okay now get <coughs> len of a into n that means how many number of uh, terms are there that will be stored in n so initially the first term is stored in sum then from second term onwards up to n minus 1 sum equal to sum multiplied by x plus a of i finally print the result okay so if our code is correct for this example it must give the output 385 this i have checked already uh, in colab then uh, the result is 385 it is working perfect so this is the python program to evaluate a polynomial using Horner's rule. Using Horner's rule. Okay. Next. Uh, I have also computed before uh, applying this Horner's rule. I have also computed uh, this uh, result that means evaluation of a polynomial using naive approach without applying Horner's method. The naive approach goes like this. If you are interested, you can also practice this one. Enter coefficients and constant. Okay. A terms will be entered here. X value here. And find the length. Then initialize sum equal to 0. Then for i in range n minus 1. Why? Because the last one will be the constant. So that's why we are going up to n minus 1. Sum equal to sum plus a of i multiplied by x. What is this uh, uh, double asterisk? This is exponentiation or power. Exponentiation or power term. Power n minus i minus 1. For example, we are trying to solve this 6x cube minus 2x square plus 7x plus 5 directly by substituting x value into that okay so how this will be written this is the first term uh, for example i is uh, 4 here i is 4 no yeah i is 4 uh, am i taking i equal to 4 here no, we are starting with i equal to 0. I, we are proceeding from here it seems. So, i equal to 0. Mm, a of i. Yeah, this is the first term. Sorry. This is the first term in our array. Uh, 6. So, uh, a of uh, 0 multiplied by x to the power of n minus i plus 1. What is n here? 4 minus i what is i 0 minus 1 sorry n minus i minus 1 is 4 minus 0 minus uh, 1 which is equal to 3 so this is nothing but a of 0 multiplied by x cube will be computed what is there in a of 0 6 multiplied by x cube will be computed in first iteration then this uh, this is stored in sum in the next iteration minus 2 multiplied by x square will be computed in the next iteration this is all this will be stored in sum in the next iteration x will be 7 multiplied by x will be computed and uh, we have given this many number of iterations and the final step is the constant term is to be added to the result so that is why sum equal to sum plus a of n minus 1 the last term 5 so we will get 385 as the result 
What is the problem with this naive approach? The time complexity is big O n square. The number of multiplications are uh, are like n into n plus 1 by 2. So the time complexity is proportional to big O of n square. So that is the drawback of this one. This can be <coughs> uh, overcome by Horner's rule. Okay. So this is very important uh, uh, method. This Horner's rule is very important method for the evaluation of a polynomial. Uh, better you take one polynomial and practice on your own. First practice with pen and paper and then try to write code on your own. Uh, then you can understand it in a better way. Okay. Uh, thank you. I hope you liked the video. If you have liked the video, share it with your friends and then subscribe. Thank you.